course, nobody ever decides to lube their swing arm bearings. Why would you ever do that? 30-year-old bike here now. And I don't know. I'm not saying these are the, the Oregonals, but there's this weird process. It's like, it looks like the bearings have like fossilized. They're so old. Oh my God, focus. Focus. Believe me, there's some rollers in there. I haven't even got the pin out yet all the way. This has been a fight. People, lube your freaking bearings. Holy shit. These will be salvageable, hopefully. The rest of the swing arm looks in good shape. Got her out. Now the even more fun part, extracting that bearing. This will explain why I was, I had to get so medieval on that swing arm pivot pin to get the engine out of the bike. This is exactly why. Tuck in your safety pajamas, cinch them up tight. Don't want any debris getting down there. Put on your safety sandals with your socks because it's below freezing and we want to be, we want to be safe here. And heat's your friend for this job, guys. Like, I uh, can't stress it enough. You use a heat gun or a propane torch, a uh, map gas, whatever you do have. But I find these heat guns work the best for this. Just expand the metal evenly. And, uh, yeah, obviously set it up in a really sketchy spot like I do here. Just a bunch of rags and shit. Check on baby. Make sure you didn't wake her up with all the hammering. And the tool I'm using here is a Bike Master swing arm bearing changer. Uh, all it honestly is is just a piece of threaded rod that you can get at your hardware store if you don't want to buy one of these. And I've just got standard old sockets that are in my box and I'm pulling the bearings up into the, uh, the black socket on top there. So just a question of tightening up both nuts and it uh, puts pressure on and pulls the bearing uh, up upwards. So. What I did is I preloaded it and uh, nothing was happening, so I kind of heated it up, chased it with some fogging oil here that got in behind the, the bearing, hopefully when it was uh, expanded a bit, the, the swing arm, and preloaded again, heat it up, and you'll hear it snap. And as you move like a little bitch uh, that got scared by a little snapping noise, it means the bearing is moving, so you just rinse and repeat. It's honestly as simple as that. Like I say, heat's your friend, heat it up, not too too much once you hear that snap uh, it means it's moving inside so that's literally it you just uh, keep going until you extract what you need and that's all there is to her boys it's really not hard anyway catch you next time turd out